All right, now we're beginning to look at a type of parallelogram, and it's a familiar object to us, which is a rectangle. So a rectangle is a parallelogram, and it has the properties of a parallelogram, but it has two special properties. Um, so like a parallelogram a rect in a rectangle, the opposite sides are congruent. The opposite sides are parallel to each other. The opposite angles are congruent. The consecutive angles are supplementary. And the diagonals bisect each other. Those are all properties of a parallelogram also apply to the properties of a rectangle. But what makes a rectangle special or different is that all four angles, all the interior angles are right angles, meaning they equal 90 degrees, and that the diagonals not only bisect each other, but the diagonals are also congruent. They have the same length. And those two properties, the right angles and the, the, the diagonals of the rectangles are congruent, are special properties pertaining to a rectangle, which is a parallelogram. It's in the parallelogram family, if you will. And so here we have a diagram of a walking park, and we're asked to find certain things, given something else. So if in the first example here, and this all pertains to example one, page 423 in the textbook, if TS is 120 meters, find PR. So we're told that TS, this part of the walking trail, is 120 meters, and we're asked to find the length of this, this diagonal, PR. Now, we know that the diagonals bisect each other here at point T. <clears throat> but given that this is a rectangle, the diagonals PR and SQ are going to be congruent. They're going to have the same length. So if we've got from the midpoint to the vertices of TS and we're trying to find the other angle, well, that would mean that PR is equal to TQ, if you will. And so in order for us to find PR, we could take this measure of TS and just multiply it by 2 because it is bisected at this midpoint. And that would give us the, the, um, the measure of both SQ and PR, but we're just asked to define it as PR. So we take 2 times 120 meters and we get 240 meters. We have to apply our, our thinking skills as we're looking to solve these um, using properties of rectangles. And in particular, we're going to have to do that in this second part of this example, which says that if the measure of PRS is 64, find the measure of SQR. All right, so let's see. P, PRS... So that's this angle right here. We're told that that's 64. And we're asked to find the measure of SQR. So we want to find the measure of this angle. Hmm. Well, one of the properties of a rectangle is that the all four angles are right angles. And so in the total rectangle, I know that this is 90 degrees. And if I know that this portion here is 64, that means that this opposite angle, which would be, let's say, angle PRQ, 
Well, that must be 90 degrees less 64, or 26. So this angle is going to be 26. But that's not the angle I'm asked to find. I'm asked to find SQR back up here. Okay, so i got to do a little bit of thinking here. What does this tell me here? Well, I know from the property of a, right, a rectangle that the diagonals are congruent, and we just kind of went through that. Each segment from the midpoint to, the vert to each vertices, that means that they've got to be congruent, which means that this line segment, TQ, must be also equal to segment TR. Which means that the triangle QTR, let's say, is what type of triangle? Well, it would have to be an isosceles triangle because these two measures, these two sides, have to uh, must be. They're going to be the same. So I've got an isosceles triangle. Then what do I know about the isosceles triangle? Well, in an isosceles triangle, the angles of the base, which this base would be QR, must also be congruent. And the angles, if if the angle, if the sides opposite the angles are the same, then the angles are congruent. In other words, if the length of the sides opposite the angles are congruent, then the angles must be also be congruent, which then would tell us that the measure of SQR must be 26, since this is going to be an isosceles triangle. Like I say, you got to do a little thinking, got to keep your head on, be patient. But sometimes you can jump to a false conclusion using properties of rectangles.